information that comes through that you need to pay attention to with regard to stock market investing and um, the companies that you cover and the uh, investments that you choose to take uh, is the key. And your access to that information is vital to your success as a stock market investor. Um, there is no information that is necessary to passively invest in, in large capital markets. However, with microcap companies, um, you would never find, identify, be able to track the necessary information needed to make an informed decision on opportunities like the one presented in uh, and with Aduro Clean Technologies. The press release that was released just this week was monumental. It was absolutely met with zero reciprocation in the stock market. Um, the frustrating part, I think, is when we look at Aduro Clean Technologies, and we're going to get into the press release on their ability to deconstruct cross-linked polymers to the efficiency of 84% in this video. I'm going to show you where to find this invaluable information. And it is incumbent upon you not to dismiss the importance of this information. We're going to cover this in a couple of minutes. It takes a couple of minutes for you to take heed, uh, take a pause, acknowledge that there is uh, a vast array of information out there. And I understand that it can be confusing along the landscape uh, on what information to pay attention to. Uh, I, I highly insist that you pay attention to this one because Aduro is silently making moves in areas that have been uh, not touched industries that have been impenetrable for centuries. In this press release, they are going to give you the meat and potatoes. They're not going to give you a lot of fly, fluff and hype. Neither will I. Uh, I will give you the goods. I will give you the press release. I will show you where to find it, where to review it for yourself. But we're going to jump in and we're going to review this groundbreaking information that investors like myself on an island are screaming to the hills about how big this information is only to be met with zero acknowledgement from a stock market that continues to reward companies that are failing businesses or are so overvalued but hyped up to this point and generating buying interest that companies like Aduro get drowned out in the noise. My friends, that is only going to last for so long because this company is making strides it is making progressions and it is penetrating industries with the help of multi-billion dollar companies out there. And sooner or later, this will go from undiscovered to in fact discovered. Let's jump into it and take a look at the press release. Aduro Clean Technologies released a press release just this week on May 16th, which is titled Aduro Clean Technologies provides results on testing of hard-to-recycle cross-linked polymers. I want to cover this in depth. You can find this press release at aduracleantech.com, and I will also uh, provide a link to this press release. I encourage you to read this over. Uh, read it again if you don't understand it the first time, and finally read it a third time because this news is monumental uh, in the face of a market and in a grander microcap market that seemingly dismisses information like this that are absolutely positive, uh, the information is selectively rewarded. Uh, and I think investors and those following the story, story need to take, take stock in this, um, put it in their catalog of fundamental uh, attributes that Aduro has stacked up over the last couple of years in reviewing the content so take a read over it see if you had the same reaction as i did 
Um, but uh, let's get into it, guys, here. Canadian technology company using the power of chemistry to transform lower value feedstocks like waste plastic, heavy bitumen, and renewable oils into resources for the 21st century is pleased to share exciting results from preliminary tests achieved with deconstructing cross-linked polymers using the company's hydrolytic technology. For those of you who do not know what Aduro does, I invite you to Aduro Clean Tech. Uh, there's much more information on there uh, with regard to their canned statement. But as far as the press release and the specifics released this week, cross-linked polymers are pivotal to numerous industries thanks to their exceptional durability, chemical resistance, and mechanical strength. They are integral to many products ranging from automotive tires to household adhesives, protective coatings, and medical devices. Their critical applications span sectors such as aerospace, automotive, construction, and electronics, where their unique properties are indispensable. Roughly 2.5 million metric tons of cross-link polymer is produced annually, representing a $6.4 billion industry, growing at 6.5, compounding annual growth rate to $8.7 billion by 2028. So again, in true Aduro fashion, they are uh, penetrating markets that in this case, and we'll see, uh, are in fact and have proved to be impenetrable markets. However, the same characteristic that make cross-link polymers so valuable also creates significant recycling challenges. Unlike thermoplastics, these materials do not melt under heat, making them difficult to recycle by traditional technologies. High temperature technology processes typically result in char and fuel gas, which are unsuitable for repurposing into new materials. This challenge underscores the pressing need for innovation in chemical recycling technologies. On March 27th, as you'll remember, 2024 Aduro announced it engaged with a building materials manufacturing company, one of six for the patrons who follow the message, to investigate the fate of cross-link polymers under hydrolytic uh, conditions. The client provided a sample of cross-linked polyethylene, a waste stream from its local production facility on which Aduro investigated the application of its proprietary technology for chemical recycling of this difficult-to-recycle material. So a couple things out of that sentence I want you guys to, to take note of. and You have a real client, you have real industrial waste, and you have that waste stream subjected to the hydrochemolytic technology, which is exactly in line with what they're trying to do with align the technology with customer needs. Okay, How did it fare out? Maduro is excited to report promising results from the preliminary test with yields up to 84%. This is the real takeaway. Of lower molecular weight hydrocarbons, predominantly in the C8 to C28 range, these results confirm the effectiveness of HCT. We all knew the effectiveness of it. Never hurts to continue to double down on that as they sport new verticals in the Aduro portfolio of verticals in breaking down complex polymers like cross-link polymers, which have high thermal stability and complex decomposition pathways into value, valuable hydrocarbons. Guys, I can't underscore how important this is. This is um, an unsolvable industry, and it has been that way for over 100 years. Uh, so when Aduro puts out this information just two days hot off the press, it is uh, important of us to push out that information so people can make their decisions, but also you know, be aware that the information is there, where to find it, so that people can review it for themselves and determine for themselves whether or not this needs to be dismissed in the way that the stock market has dismissed this information, uh, or to identify a disconnect between the information, the dismissal of the stock market, and what that could potentially mean for you as an investor. This work not only solidifies the Aduro pathway into the building materials sector, that's huge, 
but also opens the door to very sizable markets for cross-linked polymers to be recycled. Now Aduro considers tire, rubber, and uh, elastomeric materials as additional potential feedstock to demonstrate the versatility of hydrochemicalitic technology in chemical recycling of polymeric materials. Accordingly, the company is actively engaged in discussions with potential engagements in these sectors. Aduro is going to force you to read between the lines here, guys. And, and those couple of sentences right there not only suggest that they can go after uh, another vertical of feedstock that nobody else can touch, but also that this isn't the only heavy manufacturer in the space. Uh, Aduro, by their admission here, is engaged with uh, preliminary discussions uh, with, with others in the sectors, and why wouldn't they be? Um, by nature of putting this out, and Aduro doesn't put out information just for the fun of it. They carefully vet their information, and they put that out to the public-facing audience when and only when they have concrete evidence uh, to support the claims that they're putting out. Uh, this milestone confirms our preliminary assessment that we provide customizable solutions tailored to industry-specific requirements. We were able to transform cross-linked polymer waste into high-quality liquid hydrocarbons with an impressive conversion yield, 84%, enhancing the materials life cycle and providing a reliable feedstock for refineries. This is insane. The development addresses a critical challenge in the industry and opens new avenues for sustainable material management, commented Eric Appleman, a Chief Revenue Officer at Aduro. Ofer Vicus states, We established our customer engagement program to work directly with our clients to investigate and develop solutions for their specific needs. The results from the cross-link polymer test are very exciting. It is another example of the ability of hydrochemolytic to deconstruct and create value from hard to recycle materials, which have proven to be challenging for traditional approaches. I invite you to Aduro Clean Tech. I will again link this in the comments section and the, um, the, the, um, the description section. Please click over, uh, take a review over this as we have done here today uh, for your own uh, education and understanding the impact of what has just been recently released. So we've come out of the press release. What do you think? Are you a bull? Are you a bear? Are you not touching it because it's part of a micro cap space? Um, I would invite you to do make your own uh, decisions, do your own due diligence. Uh, this uh, was straight off the Aduro Clean Technologies website. Uh, save the press release for future reference. We will be using this as a baseline to track progress as this is a preliminary study, albeit preliminary, but with the uh, help of actual feedstock from uh, uh, an actual industrial company in the space. Uh, and as alluded in this press release, there are others that are taking note and also are in discussions with Aduro at this particular juncture. We'll keep you posted. Guys, I hope you appreciate the content coming through the Independent Investor Channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Subscribe to the message if you want, I don't know, access to some of the most invaluable information that is coming through social media right now and is being met with deaf ears. People's attention spans are spread all over the spectrum. People are paying attention to the wrong information, my friends, and that can prove to be costly. But for those who are in the know and are taking the right perspective with what Aduro is trying to do here with this with this company, with this groundbreaking technology, and more importantly, the impact that they can make globally, those are the people who will absolutely uh, reap the most rewards by recognizing the value in information. Yes, thank you so much for tuning in to the review of this press release, and good luck in your investment future.